Hey, this is Latif Mikado, and you're listening to the Good Night Freestyle Podcast, where I take some time each night to try and reflect on the freestyle scene, where it is, where it's going, and try to figure out how to sustain it, not just for future generations to enjoy, but also to benefit. So sit back, relax, and let's talk some freestyle. You're listening to episode five of the Good Night Freestyle Podcast with Latif Mercado. And I am Latif Mercado. How's it going, everyone? Good evening. Um, so um, today's Sunday. It's right after the holidays. Kids go back to school tomorrow morning. Uh, we have our granddaughter that lives with us. Um, son is out of the house, daughter's in Germany in the army. Um, we have four grandchildren, Andrew and I. Uh, Santana's our oldest one. Uh, she's eight. Uh, the only reason why we have her here is because of the school, uh, school district. She's the only one from all the siblings that are in school and her parents are trying to move closer to us. So in the meantime, we have her. So back to school tomorrow. <laughs> anyway, so, um... Today was a pretty interesting Sunday, pretty um, pretty active. If any of you are members of my Facebook group called Freestyle Against Phonies, Freestyle Against Phonies, then you should know what I'm talking about, okay? Um, I know I spoke a little bit about Freestyle Against Phonies, what it's about, what was my intentions... Um, and, and basically, um, how's it perceived by, by the market? And I, let me go back just a little bit before I go into what's actually going on today. And today's nothing new. It's been going on like this for years, but, uh, it gets pretty intensified. But anyway, so when I first got with Angel, they had another, fake, a fake cover girl group that was out there. Um, I'm an agent. It's not difficult for me to get work. And that's what I was doing. I was getting her work. And basically what was happening the people that were on the fake team were intercepting a lot of my shows. I mean, they were making it really difficult. Um, and it, and the thing is I wasn't getting much support from the community. I'm talking about our fellow artists, as far as a lot of them, not not all, not all. Most people already know who are the ones that were um, in support of that whole mess. But um, we, yeah, we weren't getting any support. People were basically turning their head, and uh, but then what was going on is. I started noticing not only were a lot of the artists and other personnel, I'm talking about other managers and promoters and dancers and DJs, not only were they supporting them um, for whatever reason, made no sense to me ever, um, we started finding, seeing a lot of pictures being taken. So they were truly displaying their support. So it wasn't even on the down low anymore. They were, they were straight up, you know, basically, if an artist is taking a picture with a phony, in my opinion, it's an endorsement. Um, as a, If it's as a group. I mean, it's hard for me to say that because there are other groups that are kind of like a little broken up or whatever the case may be. Um, and we do, we support them and we do... Um, We've taken pictures with them, but you know, a situation like the like the fake cover girls that was straight up um, deception. That was there was like no excuse for that whatsoever. So when I saw a lot of these artists basically um, jumping on board and 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 just you know supporting them to a whole other level, I said, well, okay, well, I, I honestly I got nothing to lose at this point. So I remember waking up one morning. With this idea, 
about putting together a Facebook group, and I already had the name called Freestyle Against Phonies. So I got up, I built the page, and um, I started promoting. And it started, I never bought uh, any kind of advertising. I never bought likes or members or I wanted it to be organically. I wanted to. I wanted to grow organically. It was important that it did, because when it came time to fight phonies, when the absolute reason for me to put this thing together, when I needed the support, um, and it, um, I, I needed them to be real people. I didn't need them to be a bunch of uh, robots. So, um, it really started as a way for me to tell the market, "Hey, listen." You're going and you're paying all this money, 70, 80, 100 something dollars for a concert, and three quarters of that concert are deceptive acts. It wasn't like the originals were dead or retired. No, they weren't. They were still around. They were just strong armed out of the situation. Okay? A lot of these acts that were bumped off were bumped off because the people who bumped them had a way of making more money. With a fake. So if, let me give you an instance. Let me give you an example. Okay. As a manager, you'll make a percentage of a group. But if you're able to get rid of that group and create your own group out of, you know, random people that you find on the streets, then at that point, you get paid like the artists and you could just pay the talent a, 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 a fee or commission or an, a, a percentage so whereas, let's give an example. Let's say a manager got 20% and the artist got 80. If they're able to switch that around and pull it in and just basically do a work for hire, then at that point, the manager could justify himself getting 80% and giving the artist 20. Get it? So it's all about money. Same thing with group members, okay? So if a group member can break, let's say it's a group member of... Four people. One of those group members could step off of that group, try to or attempt or claim to trademark or trademark the name, go and find replacement members, use the same name, and go out there and promote it. Now, instead of that group member splitting his or her um, um, fee three or four ways, he could keep the bulk of it and just give them a couple hundred bucks each. And this is the practice. This is what goes on. A lot of people don't realize that it's it's not for any other reason that they try to claim that it is. It's more. It's for money. It's their way of making money. For instance, we probably could have took Angel and gotten two dancers, give them a hundred dollars each, and call it a day. We didn't want to do that. She didn't want to do that. So you know. So that's what happened there. So what happened was. Since a lot of these people not only didn't have our back, but um, also um, basically flipped on us for no reason because I've never, I'm an agent. I've put a lot of money into a lot of their, at their pockets. So it made no sense to me. So I said, okay, well, all right, cool. So then it doesn't matter. They're not my friends. The ones that are know who they are. A lot of people know who they are because they're around us a lot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a really big flashlight and I'm going to create this group and allow and, and, and use it to shine this really bright light on deceptive events. So this is how it was done. I, I right away, right off the bat, had a small crew that we start, started with. These were people that already showed their, their alliance to us and who really understood and were really true fans and didn't have any connections with the culprits. So they, 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 they spoke up and they know, they knew the, they knew the market, they knew the business, they knew the artists, they knew their songs very, very well. Sometimes some of them more than I did. Okay. So now what we did is we were able to take these deceptive flyers, post them on freestyle against phonies, and then allow those who knew what they were talking about to come in and dissect it. And they would say, this is an original act. This is not an original act. If you want this original act, you could go here and they would tag them. And the, the, the thing was is 
I didn't have anybody that I would, I was worried about hurting their feelings because everybody already dissed me. So I could put these flyers up here and just leave them and let them get this, you know, get them, dis- you know, let them get dissected. And that's what happened. And little by little, um, oh, trust me, it, we had anybody who was a part of Freestyle Against Phonies from the beginning can tell you stories. We've been a part of every single deceptive act that was out there, okay? And we've put a stop to a lot of them or at least, to the very least, slowed them down. And we've also encouraged and supported originals to come back on board and uh, <coughs> and go out there and work. Do we get credit for that? I don't think so. We, I Actually, I, I don't think we do at all. But we didn't do that for that. We didn't do it for that. I thank the members. That's that's me. That's what I do. I thank the members. Do I need to continue doing this? No. I got the original cover girls together. I could close that page down, and I'm I, I'm good. But it's it's beyond that. It's more than just the cover girls at this point. You know, it's about maintaining the integrity of the genre. You see, a lot of people keep quiet because they're scared of the repercussions they're going to get from, you know, some of the other players in the game. Uh, however, these players never did anything for me, nor they can they. Listen, I have this, this, this thing. If you can't help me, then you certainly cannot hurt me. All right? So I create a lot of problems. I created a lot of enemies by putting this group together. But this was the deal. This was the choice I had to make. Let's forget the fact that Angel's my artist or an artist. Angel is my wife, my legal wife. We are married. In other words, it's beyond business at this point. Okay? So if I have to choose between any of these other people and my wife, then you know who's going to lose. So anyway... We went out there and we allowed everybody and everything to be exposed. Now, what I didn't want to do is I didn't want to be like some of these other groups where if they didn't say something that I liked, that I would delete them or remove them. So I never did that. So you can find posts where they're totally dogging me out where they're totally dogging my wife out, you know, to the point where most men would seek these people out and, and, and take them out because of the way they diss their wives. I can't because my wife is an artist and it's a little bit beyond that. It's a little bit beyond. This is business. Those people are nothing special to me. So I had a, another way of, of dealing with it. And what the whole idea was, We wanted to have a place where fans, before they purchased one of these high-priced tickets, that they could come into Freestyle Against Phonies and they can ask. Or they can go and just post up a flyer, free of charge, and ask everyone, hey, what's up with this flyer? Is this a legitimate show? And they would get the truth. Now... Of course, the culprits did not like this. I'm talking about for years I've been, I've had calls threatened, threatening. I've had emails. I've had friends of friends, you know, contact me. I've had people threaten me. They catch me on the road. Um, I've had several lawsuit threats and one lawsuit that totally did not materialize. That lawsuit was basically... And during the deposition was 1,500 pages in the deposition. And every single one of those pages was nothing more than a Xerox copy or printed out copy of Freestyle Against Phonies. The problem was, if you read any of those posts, I do not diss people. I speak the facts. I'll try to say something intelligently. And then I step off. And I do also try to monitor the members. The members can get carried away. I don't get mad at them, trust me. So any members that feel that maybe I got upset, sometimes I've had to delete their posts um, 
But a lot of times I'll let them know ahead of time so that way they get the chance to delete it or, or, or edit it themselves. And then if they don't do it or if they keep on, then I have to remove the post myself. And then if they continue, then at that point I'm, I'm going to get upset and I'm going to remove them from the group. And it, it's, it, it's not really personal. Like I could remove them and never remember who they are. It's to protect the group. Okay, I didn't want the group to come off not only as like a bully group, a drama group. I didn't want it to be a place where people are threatened. I didn't want it to be a place where people are calling other people's mothers this and their kids that. And, you know, you know, using this, you know, uh, I mean, you can curse all you want. I don't have a problem with that. But, you know, if you're dissing people to that point, like you're in grade school, it's going to annoy me. Um, especially our members. Now, our members, one thing that I am grateful for, and I I mean, really, if anybody can, if you, I'm not just saying this, really, look into our group. You're going to realize that we have a, we have a lot of very intelligent people in Freestyle Against Phonies. These are some really smart people. I watch what they write. I listen to what they're saying. They make a hell of a lot of sense, <laughs> you know? Um, and then I look at some of the culprits that come in, and I'm sorry, they're fucking idiots, most of them are. They make no sense. How do you justify the fact that those are that those are not the fake cover girls? What is going through your mind? How do you justify the fact that we have the original cover girls out? However, you still think that these other girls should be out there doing shows. That makes no sense. Now, I don't get really I I, I don't get upset at, at that what I get upset is at the stupidity and it's not sometimes it's not even that they don't know they know but a lot of them are so loyal to the culprits because the culprits have a history in this in the genre that they bow down to them and you know it, that's a scary situation you know um I've had people that were straight up strangers I don't even know who these people are one guy uh, an artist made a 20 minute video talking about how much he hated me. I never knew, man, I've met this dude in my life. I don't know. I did not. I learned who he was after. <laughs> so it's crazy. But anyway, okay, so right now I think the group has been around shit since 2011, maybe. I don't, I don't remember. Um, We've had ups and downs. Sometimes that page gets hot. I'm talking about 300, 400, 500 comments. You know, you know, hundreds of likes. Nearly every promoter in the genre. Honestly, I don't know one. I don't know, and I'm an agent. I don't, and so I deal with all these promoters. I don't know one promoter that's not a member. They're all members. In fact, I don't know an artist that isn't a member. And if they're not a member on our page, through our page, through their page, because they don't want me to see them as a member, they're in as a phony profile, okay? A few of them, I know who they are because they don't realize that they got moles in their camps and the camps let me know what the deal is and I, I will never reveal who they are. But that's cool because they just want to get the, under, the, the information. And I know this is true because several times I've had artists some of the biggest artists in freestyle who I would run into on the road, sometimes some of the biggest concerts. And I always say, what's up to them? They say, what's up to me? They say hi to the girls. I've never seen them go on freestyle against phonies. I've never seen them support us, but a lot of them I've never seen support the others. They're very, very neutral and I can respect that. Not only that, many of them have pulled me to the side during conversation. We start off, hey, how you doing? How's this? How's family? Da-da. And it goes to a point and they'll say, all of a sudden they'll step a little closer and their tone will drop and they'll say something like, listen, Latif, man, I, I know you don't see me, you know, speaking up and, but, you know, I just want you to let you know, I got your back, man. I believe everything that you're saying. I don't think it's right, but, you know, I, I just, I really, this is my only livelihood. So, you know, I really don't want to kick up any dirt and but you know I do support you I definitely don't support those others I don't even talk to them I mean this is what I get I swear to God I've forgotten this at least a dozen times from various artists 
Okay, matter of fact, the last big show that we had, I, I forgot, I think we were in Texas, one of the artists came up to me and, and said it. And some of them have say it like every time they see me, you know, and they pull me to the side and they say, we got a lot of respect for you. I got a lot of respect for you. You know, I don't know why they do this. Some of the times they'll say, yeah, you know, I spoke to them. I told them that they should give it up. And, you know, it, it, it made sense when the group wasn't around, but now the cover girls are around. Why are you still doing this? I mean, I get this all the time. So realize this, that probably every single freestyle artist is a member of Freestyle Against Phonies. They just might be under uh, an alias name or they're going through uh, another friend or a friend is screen capturing. I don't even think it's that. I think they're actually in um, under a bogus name. In the beginning, I let a lot of bogus names in. I still do kind of. You know, I, I, I go into, if it's a suspicious profile, go into the profile, I look around. I see it was it was created three days ago. They got freaking, you know, a freaking a bunch of pictures of fruit. But I'll let them in anyway, but I'll just watch them. Because you see, this is the deal. People say, well, why, why do you let them in? I need someone to bring the message back to the culprits. Because our people are not doing it. Our people are not cool with them to that level. So a lot of times that message won't get there. So I need to let the, the these people are like carrier pigeons to me. So they need to come in, get the information that we want them to get. And then bring it out. This is why it's so important, and I tell you guys all the time, is it's so important to make sure you like it, make sure you comment, s- express your opinion. You know, go hard. Go hard. This is your genre. Let me tell you something. When this shit is over, it's over. Now, it doesn't have to be over. It, it could it could, it could stay in this test of time. But, you know, come on. <laughs> you know? Um, so, anyway... For the last few days, we have one uh, character. I don't want to name no names. I don't even want to give him that kind of light. He's a DJ. Um, He's been a part of so much controversy. I don't want to blame him for anything. I'm just not like that, you know? This is another dude, man. I think I met him once. I never had any kind of dealings with him. Dude don't like me for some reason. I don't know what it is, man. Am I that damn fucking good looking that these people just can't? You know, they, they just can't, they don't want me around. I don't know what it is, but, um, <laughs> you know, but this one particular DJ has been creating, you know, a lot of flack, not just within our camp, but everywhere, you know, <clears throat> but anyway, um, he made a post today. Now he's made the post before in the past, <clears throat> but today he actually, um, he went out there campaigning and in the campaign, he's telling people about this site that he's on that needs to come down and that people have to to people have to sign and they have to contact Facebook to get the page shut down and they have to say that we're a threat now he's telling these people to lie he said now I can do the same thing Freestyle Against Phony's got 4,000 members we probably got even a good you know 500 that'll probably do whatever we need I don't want to do that I don't want my people to spend their time trying to shut down his page. I don't want to do that. I'd rather my people just focus on continuing to to supply the group with great content, valuable information that can help the genre. Yeah, it gets heated. I don't mind the fights here and there. You know, I don't mind the debates. I like that. It's entertaining. It's funny. Some of these people are funny. Yo, some of you guys are hilarious. <laughs> Sometimes I'm reading your post, man, and I'm cracking up, you know. But I don't get too involved. I read everything. But not only am I I'm busy, I'm busy, you know, trying to stay. Remember, this is all we do. I, I do freestyle. So the thing with Freestyle Against Phonies compared to a lot of these other groups is we are a legitimate contributor to the genre. Okay? So we, we have a stake in the genre. So you're dealing with a group that has some really really grounded roots in freestyle not it's not a fan page okay so remember there's a different level here okay and i know everybody and everybody knows me see that's the key see you can know everybody you can know all the artists you can know all the players but unless they all know you really honestly you ain't shit okay so they all know me because i'm an agent so i've booked most of them 
all the A-listers. I don't think there's an A-list that has gotten by me yet. And a lot of the A-listers I have booked several times, several, several times, probably hundreds of times over the last 25, 30 years, okay? And never an issue or with us. So I've always had a good relationship with the artists. Um, so anyway, so there's a post going out now. It's trying to get people to sign up to shut down this page. Now, this is the deal, okay? Check this out. If for any reason he is successful and he's able to shut down this page, let me tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a few days off. I'm going to figure out how my IP address can not be tracked. And this is very easy. I go to a hotel or somebody else's uh, uh, place. Or I go to a cafe someplace, get a new IP address. Okay. And I start a new account. And if I start a new account, it's going to be better. It's going to be stronger. It's going to be more intense. So who cares about the content? Nobody's reading yesterday's content. Everybody's reading today's content. So I don't care about the stuff. Most of the stuff that's posted about this, this crazy dude and anything else that's of any valuable, most people have already screen captured it. We've, we've screen captured some of the good stuff. So we have that. Very easy for us to repost that. So if he wants to go and make a fool of himself and go, you know, and go and try, I'm going to come in and call the police and I'm going to get the page shut down. Because everybody's, everybody's bothering me. Everybody's picking on me. Then go ahead, man. Do your thing. You know, that seems to be the thing with those culprits, man. They love calling the police, man. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I, I, I've haven't I haven't called the police on any of them not once, and I've been violated several several times. Them, you can't even look at them. You can't you can't say anything until they start to cry. <laughs> so, well, anyway, so but anyway, so, so this is what's going on. This is what went on today. And I told you guys that, you know, the whole purpose of this podcast was for me to vent. Because you know what? If I didn't tell you guys, if I didn't talk about this right now, I, I, this shit would be in my head all night long. It might still. Who knows? But, but I got a lot of it out. And I know it's out there. And I know it's recorded. And feel free to share this, you know. Um, uh, today's date is uh, January 5th, 2020. So it's the beginning of the year. Oh, my God. I started this podcast five days ago with, and I vowed to do one every single day for the next 365 days. Can I do it? I can do it. I know I can do it. It's going to be, it's a hell of a commitment, but I'm going to do it. And while I do it, I'm going to be talking about a lot of stuff going on because you know why? It doesn't matter. And nobody can do anything for me. They've tried to hurt me for years. They cannot hurt me. Come on. <laughs> there's, listen, there's a lot of behind the scenes shit that people don't know. But you see, that's for my book. That's for my Freestyle Against Phonies book. So, and I write books. So you guys can't even say that, hey, uh, he's not going to write a book. Hey, I've, I've got six books out right now. You really think that? A Freestyle Against Phonies book is not in the works? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Just ask my attorney. <laughs> I know what I can write and what I can't. So, and my attorney's going to uh, co-write it with me, just so you know. Anyway, um, just to be on the safe side, okay? <clears throat> anyway, so, so that's the deal there, folks. Freestyle Against Phonies. If you're not a member of that group, please join the group before they shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> Join the group, <laughs> and if it does, if it shuts down, I'll build another one. Just be on the lookout for. I don't know why I call it. I don't know if they'll let me call it Freestyle Against Phonies. I'll come up with some creative ass name. It might be dope anyway. I'll come up with a new logo and a new mascot. You guys have seen my mascot, my little crash dummy. It's been our mascot for years. I'm trying to change him up a little bit now uh, because when we do the book, we can't use it. It's a trademark. Um, uh, things I can't do as a book. I can use it for internet. That's fine, but I can't use it as a book. Not without getting some flack. I can alter the image, but I'm not even gonna do that. I think I'm just gonna uh, slowly uh, and gradually um, introduce a new a new character in there. So be on the lookout for that. You'll see the changes, and you'll be like, "Oh shit, I heard about that." <laughs> 
So, but anyway, um, so listen, so again, I'm going to shut down. I'm done. I appreciate you guys. You guys are dope. Uh, thank you for, for anybody who's listening. I don't care if there's three of you, man. You are the three greatest people in the whole wide world. Um, just, you know, stay tuned. Um, I really hope you enjoy this. Yo, freestyle is an incredible genre. You know, I will never diss it. I stand up and I fight for it and I fight for its integrity because of my passion for it. And it's not about the music and it's not about the artists. In fact, most of you guys probably know more about the music and the artists than I do. What I'm passionate about is the culture, is the machine behind it, and what it stands for. Who put it together? Why is it still in existence? There's so much more to ju- than just the, the artists and the music. And, and I really want to get this across to people. It's hard for me sometimes to articulate what exactly I'm trying to do, but I keep an eye. I mean, you guys see the books, you see the vlogs, you see the videos, you see everything I'm doing. Keep an eye on, you know, I'm up to something. <laughs> so, uh, and, and there's always room for other people. I always like to have people th- to be down with me. And if you notice, I don't really have a lot of artists with me. My peoples are usually the fans. Those are the people, you know, who came on board, who are part of my circle. It's the fans, man. These are the people that I appreciate. These are the people that I love. So listen, until next time, well, really next time is going to be tomorrow night, you know. Um, thanks again. And... Good night, Freestyle. Before I lay me down to sleep, I pray to hear a freestyle beat. For if I die before I wake, I hope to make it to the break.